All right, I, get, I gotta get to the f to the final area without getting hit. But as you can see, this is very difficult. Okay, I screwed up there. Damn, this takes a long time. Eventually you, you'll learn the pattern and it's just, you know, fly through it. Nope, I, I messed up too many times that time. I don't know if the game will eventually move you ahead if you c keep failing enough times. But, um... It's all gonna be come down to luck. That's how this... That's the name of the game. Luck. Oh, we made it. See, you notice that that time it didn't give us the little gate closey things. I think it does change depending on maybe how good you do or how bad you do or things like that. And just like that, you know, we've probably failed maybe 10 times. But nonetheless, we have reached the next Crest Guardian. So it's time to heal up. That gives us an antidote, gives us some BP. And although I'm not one to usually employ these, it is important to use our memory box. Leave my memories here! Because there's a good chance I might die on this. Alright. When you're ready, use the wind scroll. Time to take on the fourth crest guardian. Crest Guardian, Queen Ant. 
Looks more like a weird moth thing. But, uh... Yep, you gotta kill this thing. Kinda disgusting. I'll do it a favor and slice it to I like your thinking, Musashi. Basically, it'll always start off with this, this leg thing, its arm attack. And then it'll, like, lower its head down. And parts of its body will shake. You want to avoid landing on that when it does. And eventually you want to keep repeating this pattern. You want to avoid getting caught by its its tentacle hands. And we're going to go ahead and use one of our antidotes. Sometimes the larva will drop antidotes like that. And you really won't get poisoned unless you uh, actually run into that cloud there of poison. As far as I know. There comes the claw. And then you want to charge up and attack it. Actually, we're going to go ahead and heal just for the safety of having full health. But the one thing you don't want to have happen is you don't want those bottom claws to actually grab you when it attempts to. Because if that happens, it's bad news. Just double jump, and you won't get caught by it. It's gonna reach for us, or smack the bejesus out of it. And hopefully, the next strike will be enough. And you just, its attacks get faster every time you hurt its core. But it pretty much stays the same. You want to avoid spitting in one spot. Otherwise, part of the body will get too hot and actually melt. Making it damn near impossible to stand up for a while. But we're doing pretty good. Except for the crap ton of larva. But it's definitely going to get faster. I 
Nah, 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 you can't hit me. Come on. Claw attack. Smack the producers out of here. Okay, run. Do not get caught by those claws. No! Son of a bitch. I don't know if you just press a lot of, lot of buttons. Or what it is you... Oh, there we go. But as you can see, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. And hopefully that doesn't hit us again. My problem was I was too close one direction. But if I had to guess, the next time it's going to use its claw, we're going to hit it, and the core will be exposed. Oh, next one it is. But anyways, that's pretty much how it goes. I think actually after it's used its special... Oh, damn it. Yeah, that hurts with the spikes. We avoided it. Use our antidote. Come on. Give me the damn core already. As you can see, its attacks are way faster. You really have to keep on your toes. But this game's mechanics is not very easy. There we go. And it's dead. Musashi received Queen Ant's core. The Windcrest has been liberated. Limit level has increased. Max BP increased by 25. Ailments are cured. How refreshing. And now all we have to do is use the wind crest. Stand up on the crest and use the wind scroll. Gladly. Get me out of here. Chapter 6 The Sword of Luminescence. The final chapter of Brave Fencer Musashi is at hand. Huh? Leno? Hey, Musashi, you all right? John, where were you? Well, actually. I've been looking for scrolls, man. Already have the earth, water, fire, and wind scrolls, pal. Man, then the only one that's left is the sky scroll. So you know where it is? Sure, man. I looked it up in some ancient scriptures. A pillar of wind. Day of the sky. Tears of God fall on the forest. Prodigious tree. It looks like this is the clue to finding the sky scroll. I wrote it down for you, just in case. Musashi received John's note. It supposedly has the clue to finding the Sky Scroll. Hmm, the Sky Scroll. Looks kind of complicated to find it, but I'll try. That's a good boy. Keep up the good work. As long as you can get the Sky Scroll, 
You can liberate the Sky Crest with Lumina, since you already have the other four scrolls. Man, even I don't know what'll happen after that. You mean you don't know? Well, I did my job. It's time to say goodbye, Musashi. Make sure you're well prepared before going, because once you get there, there's no turning back. Don't give up. We're counting on you. Okay, let's go, Leno. John! Leno! Wait! Something different about John today. Alright. Let's take a look at our stats. We're currently level 17. Um, what I'm going to do is head back to uh, Grillin Village. And then off of uh, recording, I'm going to try to see what level we can get to. Maybe level 20, maybe 25. Who knows? I don't really know what the, the max is. Um... I'll probably leave some of the last Miku spots for you guys to uh, to look at. Welcome. And then uh, I guess all that's left to do is the final dungeon. But of course, we want X drinks, X drinks, X drinks, X drinks. Eh, I'll leave an antidote. But, um, that's that. Uh, we finished chapter uh, five. We've got the final chapter we're now on, and that's that. Welcome. So hopefully I'll be able to actually complete and finish Brave Fancy Musashi this time. But uh, I know for a fact that the final dungeon has at least four or five bosses in it, and you don't have a chance to leave, so that is quite difficult, and it can be quite challenging. Uh, let's see, according to my old playtime, uh, we have a, we actually have one, mi one more Minku, I believe, and I think we've actually, we need three more people from Benchel Fields, but um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, I'm Grey Case Angel, next time I will show you guys where the last Minku is, as well as some of the preparations I've done off, off camera. And then we're going to tackle the final dungeon. So hopefully on the next uh, recording of Brave Fence Musashi, we will finish the game. So thank you guys once again for watching. I'm Grey Case Angel. See you next time.